said, teach a youth about the way he should go. And even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Amen. Amen. King James Version said, train up a child the way he should go. And when he is old, will not depart. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. I want to talk about briefly today training day. All right, now. Come on, come training on. day. Training come day. On. Training day. Come on, Amen. That's what I want to talk about. I was uh, had a long day yesterday. It's long, been a long week. Amen. Um, I did a service, a funeral service yesterday. And I tell you, I had to go way back in the woods. I ain't talking about city wife, I'm talking All about right. we had, Yeah, folk didn't know about what I'm talking about. I was just talking, just talking the same way I was just talking. I was just talking. You talking about drain my spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. When black folk don't get ready with music, Come on now. we're in a bad position. Amen. All black folk Amen. love music. Amen. Maybe the wrong kind of music. Amen. Amen. <laughs> But I was, I was, the Lord hadn't gave me anything to talk to y'all about yesterday. And I kept saying, Lord, am I going to talk about tomorrow? Oh, so I got up this morning, went to sleep, went to sleep two or three times. But I got up this morning and the Lord said, training day. All right, now. All right, now. Training day. Now, need us to understand that uh, the Bible says, train up a child. Yes, sir. I don't want you to get in your mind we're talking to children. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Talking to the church. That's it. Because when I, when I start looking at it and allow God to just do what he's doing, uh, there are a lot of people that don't know a lot of things. Amen. 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 I uh, don't like this word at all. I don't even know why it's in the dictionary, but I don't like it. A lot of people does I don't like a son. I don't like a son. I don't want to assume okay. somebody knows something. Amen. Um, because there are a lot of people uh, know a lot of stuff. Isn't that the truth? But they had not been taught a lot of stuff. Amen. Amen. In my in Amen. my business, in my in my business, there's a lot of things that uh, uh, that we have to be trained on uh, pretty regularly. Amen. In my business, in my business, and a lot of things because uh, I've been doing this 36 years. Uh, in my business, it, it's real simple. Uh, what I do. It's very simple, very simple what I do. But I found out that if had nobody showed me how to do it another way, All right, now. it becomes difficult what I do. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. There are a lot of people in the body of Christ. They might have a knowledge of what God is saying, but I hadn't been trained to do what God said to me. Amen. Amen. We, we, we can quote scriptures. We can, we can, we can do it a way that we uh, uh, assume that it's the right way to do it. But if it's not right to do, Amen. Amen. It, it, it's no good. I, I was looking. I was looking even on TV this morning, and they had a lot of training classes for different things. They had a they had a CPR class that women attend, and, and uh, they was teaching people how to save lives through the CPR, and they. And they said this lady, uh, because her son almost died a few years ago, uh, she started having CPR parties that she could teach people how to do CPR. Well, I think that it's, it's very important now in the church, in the body of Christ, that we start teaching. Because I believe 
I don't believe that the church is equipped enough to take on the activity that God is about to send in the body of Christ. I don't, I don't think we're equipped enough in laying on of hands. I don't think we're equipped enough to give people good word. I don't think we're equipped enough to walk people through things. I don't think we're equipped enough to walk people in authority. I don't think we're equipped enough to walk people in a, in a counseling area. I don't believe that we're equipped because we have not been trained to do what we need to do. And I think that the training process of really where we are, we assume that we got it all together. We assume that it's all right. We assume that I got my mind set right. But in the activity of what I really need to be with God, I fall short somewhere. I'm scared to fail. I'm scared to get my hands dirty. I'm scared to really get involved. Because I haven't really been trained. I haven't been trained to do what I really need to do. And sometimes, sometimes I'm even nervous about telling folks I don't know. I'm scared to tell people I haven't done that. I know I got it. But I don't. I just don't know. I don't know. And so the Bible says, train up a child. What he said, teach them. And, and, and the Bible says, Paul, Paul says, when I was a child, I thought I was a child. I acted like a child. He said, but when I became a man, I put away. And what he really said was, when I became mature enough to actually do it God's way. Because even at 35, 55, 65, 85, if you had been taught, you're still a child. You do childish stuff. I tell a lot of guys, I tell a lot of guys, and, and, and us guys, and, and I pray, I think Cynthia announced the, the men's conference, I, I, I believe that we ought to push men to be at conferences. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We ought to teach boys to be at conferences. Amen. Amen. Because I see too many guys that got babies. They got babies that don't know how to be daddy. They don't know how to be responsible. Hey, you go to talking to him, and you think you're talking to a six-year-old. All right. All right. I was talking to a boy the other day. I talked to him the other day, and he was telling me some stuff. And I said, "Man, you know you got to take care of the baby." And he said, "Man, that girl made me mad, and I ain't gonna do this." And I said, "Are you doing it for her? Or are you doing it for the baby?" I said, "The baby can't take care of himself." All right. I said, "So if you got the baby, I don't care what you and the girl." But because we hadn't been trained. Amen. We hadn't been groomed. We hadn't been taught how to do it another way. Amen. Amen. And I, I was listening to T.D. Jakes the other day, and he, he said something in reference to the fact of how women train young girls. He said his grandbaby that is two years old, and she already know how to do her thing. She got a, a tea set. She got a body doll. And, and she got all this stuff. And it's training her how to be a wife, how to be a mother. Because they, they've already given her the doll. They give her how they taught her how to clean up stuff. I mean, training at two years old. And when she get to the point where now I desire a husband, a man, she already knows because they trained her. But they have not too many boys being trained how to be men. Amen. We got this mentality in our mind that I'm a man. She's going to do what I tell her to do. We're going to have a little sex. We're going to have some children. And then we go on our way. I got me a job. I'm not going to do nothing else. Okay. 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 Because we haven't been trained. Amen. In the body of Christ. How to do what we need to do. And that's why I believe that most churches fail. Because there's no training going on. Amen. 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 I, I, said, I said this even to the urchins that we have here. And we don't have a lot of here. We had a few, a few days ago. But, but when you think about it, we just stand at the door. That's not, the, that's not just the position of just standing at the door. Just opening the door. Okay. Okay. Amen. What is us? I don't know. I picked, I picked the urchin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, what is our job of urchin? It's not just to open the door. A urchin, urchin, speak. <laughs> Yeah, because if you come to my house, you don't just walk in my house and do what you want to do, right? The usher will tell you where I want you to sit. Sit right there. Because the usher is in charge of the door. Amen. 
the church has to be trained to do what you need to do. Amen. Because if they are not trained, we are assume that everybody got it together. You can assume Amen. we fail. Amen. So he said, if you're a trainer, he said, this word that you put in them would not depart. Because see, there's a certain position, there's a certain operation that's in the body of Christ. Amen. And so if you don't do it the right way, you're doing it wrong. Amen. We have we have people, we have people that does worship. But they call it worship leaders. All right now. Yes. All right now. Amen. Now, if they don't know how to tap into the, to the Spirit of God, okay. simply because they know how to sing. Okay. Okay. And have train how to do real worship. You don't mess a church up with a bad spirit just because you know how to sing. You have to be taught how to tune in to the Word of God, the Spirit of God, that you can be able to walk in your Word. You have to put people in a position. Amen. Amen. But you have to know how and be trained Amen. in worship. position that Omega is about to go in. See, we always look at, we, we take advantage, we take advantage of, of the church. We got a few people here even this morning. But we take advantage of the church. And because there's not a lot of people, then I really don't have to show up at a certain time. I don't have to do a lot of time. I'm not real responsible. Where you have to be trained to do the right thing, the right way to call. See, if I'm looking for something to grow, if I'm looking for something to do better, if I'm looking for something to go in another direction that God desires, I said, you know something, you're the third or fourth person that said that to me. I said, 
I told a group of old ladies one Sunday, and they got mad at me in this drink. They got mad, they did. They got mad at me. I said, the only reason y'all mess with them young girls are your husband looking at them. That's what I told them. I said, your husband will turn, when they walk in, your husband will turn in his head. I said, now you want to come up with something that the Lord can say. You want to say, Lord? He said, baby, would you write the check? 
you got the checkbook. And he can't go look at the You know, he's a macho. Oh, <laughs> you don't have your own checkbook. But he got to look that way. To make other people believe that we and her together, we, we fight at the high. But we were together at church. She got the table. She had all the money. We had been trying. Amen. Boys are changing their gender because they had been trying. Amen. Not men. Amen. And you wonder why they become gay. How many of y'all like your jobs if you 
got a job. I feel like you're doing it good. You want to, because you want to get a raise and you want, you know, you want your supervisor to tell you how to do a good job. You did. You know. So what we do is we walk in ecstasy. Yes, sir. We walk, we walk in ecstasy. We, we walk in ecstasy. Amen. I want somebody to show me the right. I don't want to see the get by me. You know how sometimes y'all went to and they said, well, girl, you got to do it this way. If you, you know, they, they, they won't send it to you if you do this. But then you got your handbook, and your handbook says, no, that's the first thing you don't do, listen to somebody. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. They say, they say if, you, if you've got something on your mind that you're not sure about, refer back to your handbook. That's right. Policy and procedures. Policy and procedures, thank you. You're welcome. Amen. Listen, let me do this. I had worked a job and I don't know when I, I, I had punched a clock for them. And I don't think I could work for nobody to be honest with me. I don't think I could work for nobody to be honest with me. I don't think I could work for nobody to be honest with me. They tell me to be there, I said, and I'm going to think about it. I got to meet Sam at 11 o'clock. I got to meet such a person at 1. I said, can I come in at 3? I don't think I could work for nobody. But, but all, these, all these policies and procedures that we got, and, and, and because we have not run, and, and I'm going to tell you all this now, this is going to sound, but y'all have more interest on in proving yourself at your job than you do at the church. And I don't want to lose my job, but I don't want to lose my job at the church. Joshua knew that it was very important. 
want to be trained yes, to do what God said. And, and, and what he said was, he said, I walk close with Moses. All right, all right. Every time Moses moved, he moved. Moses got to a part of the mountain that Joshua could not go. He said, you need to stay with me. You can't go no further with me. All right. All right. Joshua didn't do like some of us. Kept looking at his wife. So now look at that. They've been up there too long. Now I need to go. I need to leave him. Yeah. No, no, no. He didn't. No, no, no. Joshua sat right there. Okay. When, when, when I got called to preach, 
I realized that I needed more than this body. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. So, 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 I went, to, I went to seminary, and I set up on some good teachers. Then I took counseling classes. I took some psychology classes. All right. Amen. I went to some meetings and things. Amen. Matter of fact, I was on a meeting one time, a counseling meeting, and the lady that was beside me that was going to counsel somebody else, she had a problem. <laughs> the teacher asked the question. She said, <laughs> The teacher said, I need to see you after play. You can see her now. I need to see her after play. Because she had an issue. Amen. And she got stuck somewhere. But you have to be trained. Okay. Amen. You, you have to be trained Amen. to do this business. Amen. Amen. Don't ever assume. Don't ever assume. See, most people say it this way. Most people said that if you are there, the Holy Ghost will show you. The Holy Ghost will show you some things. But if you haven't been trained in it, the Holy Ghost can't tell you something that you identify with. Right. If you don't identify with it, Stuff going on. 
We got social media now and it's going wild. People put everything on Facebook and Instagram and all of those stuff. Amen. Amen. They caught the They do. They do. They do. They do. They do. They do. Amen. But I need, I need us to use what the devil has orchestrated. Amen. Amen. Put your praise report out there. Amen. Amen. God been good to you. Put it on there. Because a lot of people are not believing that God is still doing miracles. This is thing that makes you. People are doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Put your prayer on there. If you got a prayer you want, everybody pray. Put it. Look, y'all face, look, FaceTime and everything. Pick your phone up and say, look, I am recording live from my house. <laughs> Because if your training and your teaching is good, yeah. they want to know where you're going. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. If it's solid, they want to know where you're going. Yeah. Amen. I'm not trying to grow a lot of folk, but I'm trying to get people to know kingdom. Amen. 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 This is good, y'all. I love, I love you enough. I love you enough. That I don't want you to see you slip. I think there's in Psalms. In Psalms. I think it's in Psalms 71 and 73. Psalms. It said that my foot almost slipped. Alright, alright. And I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Alright, alright. He said I almost. He said they were doing really good. They, they were doing good. They weren't serving God. They, they weren't going to church. They weren't paying no tithes. Everything that they should he said, it just so like they're doing good. And he said, when I, when I looked at him, he said, I almost went to the other side. Okay, okay. He said, but the Lord showed me what he had done for me. All right, all right, all right. When you've been training to know God. Come on, come on, come on. Every time the devil comes to attack you, and I, I know he does, because every time you get close to God and, and, and really understand his relationship, the devil comes at you. I mean, he, he comes at you. He, he comes at you. He don't, he don't want to lose where you are now. Now, there's a lot of people said that they're serving God and worshiping God. The devil don't ever bother them. Amen. But when you've been really, been really structured in the word of God, the devil always come at you. He start pulling at you and start pulling at things around you. He start attacking your finances. He attack your relationship. He attack your house. But because I've been trained how to go with God. Oh God. The Bible, the Bible said that, that, that when Jesus died, the curtain was rent from the top to the bottom. And, and when it was rent, the Bible said then he said, now you can come boldly before the throne of grace for yourself. And so so what I do, I don't have to go to the priest and say, uh, uh priest, I, I got a confession. I, I got I got a confession. I got but what I can do now, I can fall to my face right there. And I can tell God about the problem that I have. Because I've been trained how to have a relationship with God. Yeah. 
I know I didn't talk to you this morning, Lord, but I'm, I'm, I got a problem. And I know you already know my problem, but I know you was a fixer for my problem. I, I, I know you can do what you think you can. I know you always will carry me out, but Lord, I know that I can count on you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Lord, I don't know when you're coming, but I, I need you. Yeah. And the Lord, I'm going down to this bank. I don't know who the president is or the bank is, but I'm going down there. I'm going to talk to this Lord. And Lord, you just tell me what to write on that when I get down there. I, 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 I need some help. I, I, need some, I need some help. I need you to open some doors for me. Spirit God that people will see you instead of us. We want them 
to see your excellency in us, God, and, and how we talk about what you've done in our lives. We, we want them to, oh God, be drawn by the spirit that you allow to impart in us, oh God, and, and register and, and, and resonate in us, oh God. We want them to know that it's you and not us. So God, I thank you for today. I thank you, oh God, for the release of your spirit, oh God, and the humbleness, oh God, that, that you allow in this place, God, because, because we have to stay humble. We have to be humble, oh God, to receive what you have for us. So God, I don't want to know everything, but I just want to know what you want me to know about your people. I want to know how to be guided in you, God, that I might guide your people. I want to administrate in the right way, God. I want to be able to financially secure, God, because of what you told me I must do. So, God, I know some areas, oh God, and I still need some, some tuning and pruning in, God. So, God, I ask now that you let iron sharpen iron. Oh, God, we pray, Master, now that you just bless Omega. Bless the people of Omega, God. Oh God, if, if, if we do what you asked us to do, God, and, and walk in your way, God, every class that's intended, every position that's intended, God, every relationship that's intended, God, have your way in this place, God. Have your way in this place, God. Have your way in our thoughts, oh God, and we walk with you, God. Have your way in our music ministry, God. Have your way, God. Have your way in our men's ministry. Have your way in our women's ministry, God. Have your way in our children's ministry, God. Thursday night will be a gospel of deliverance.